Thanks to Google for not sponsoring this video. New companies are joining the space industry, just like Astra, Relativity Space, and Firefly. But one company really catched the eye this week, and that's Firefly Aerospace. But before we answer why Firefly catched the eye this week, and its possible future, we need an introduction to Firefly Aerospace. Firefly Aerospace was made in 2017 after Firefly Space Systems was acquired by EOS Launcher and renamed to Firefly Aerospace. Also wholly owned by Northrop Gro. I mean, New Sphere Ventures. Oops. Well, let's continue. Well, if you didn't know this, its former self, Firefly Space Systems, went bankrupt. But we will talk about that in a little bit, so stay till the end of the video. Have you ever heard of New Space? Well, if you haven't, it basically means new private companies in the spaceflight industry developing spaceflight technology that is conducted and paid for by an entity other than a government agency. Firefly is a part of New Space, so are the companies we announced at the beginning of the video. We think that's enough for the introduction so next we need, uh, I mean next we need. Just put up the Let's go back in time, when Firefly Aerospace was called Firefly Space Systems, and was only privately funded, and not owned by another company. FSS was founded by Tom Markusik, PJ King, and Michael Bloom in January 2014. Fun fact that Tom Markusik is the current CEO of the new Firefly Aerospace. Some entrepreneurs also self-funded the company. In September in the same year, FSS announced that they are moving their HQ from Hawthorne, California to Austin suburb Cedar Park, Texas. Everything seems right, doesn't it? Well, little did they know, that soon, everything would turn against them. December, 2014. Christmas season. It appears that Firefly Space Systems was on Santa's bad Christmas list. Jokes aside, what happened is Virgin Galactic, Tom Markusik's former employer, alleged that he had illegally provided Virgin intellectual property to the Alpha rocket team. Virgin also claimed that Tom destroyed storage devices, threw away computers, and reformatted hard drives, trying to act like he did not steal any info. Okay, right now, you may be thinking that Tom is a bad guy. Look, people do bad stuff from time to time, but it doesn't mean they will be a bad guy forever. And, if you watch this whole video, you'll soon understand that he changed. And if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me and the channel grow, and if you did, thank you. Okay, back to the story. After that, a major European investor backed down, leaving Firefly without enough money to continue the company. Tom, the CEO, said that the European investor backed down due to Brexit, not because of the case with Virgin Galactic. Because of that, slowly, FSS fired all of its employees. By December 1, 2016, Firefly Space Systems had permanently ceased engineering work. In March 2017, all of Firefly's assets were sold in an auction. You think that's the end of Firefly? Nope. New Sphere Ventures bought the assets of Firefly Space Systems and formed Firefly Aerospace. The owner of New Sphere, Max Polyakov, promised to fully fund Firefly through its first two launches, which we already had launch one, talk about that in a little bit. If you didn't know, Alpha, Firefly's rocket, was supposed to have aerospike engines, but due to the new management, the engines were changed to a pump-fed engine rather than an aerospike. Of course, because of that change, there were launch delays. Development of engines and structures resumed in 2017, and Firefly was back in business. On March 17, 2018, Firefly also opened a research and development center in Ukraine. Later that year, NASA selected Firefly Aerospace as one of nine companies able to bid for Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS, where the company would propose a robotic lunar lander called Firefly Genesis. And in February 2021, NASA awarded approximately $93.3 million to Firefly Aerospace to develop exploration technologies for Artemis commercial moon delivery in 2023. Also this year, a few days ago, on September 2, 2021, Firefly attempted to reach orbit for the first time with their Alpha vehicle. 
It successfully lifted off and passed Max-Q, but soon the FTS system was activated, causing it to explode. There are many new companies out there in the space industry, trying to improve life on Earth from space. Space isn't just amazing, it's inspiring. Space is so out there, and you don't need a job from NASA to learn all about it. Just use Google search. That brings us to today's non-sponsor. Thanks to Google for not sponsoring this video. Google search is a search engine that I use every day to get my info I use to make these well-informed videos. Without Google search I probably wouldn't know a thing. And I'll probably be posting uninformed videos. Click the link below for the time of your life. Thanks to Google for not sponsoring this video, and as always, space in, peace out.